nothing left to do but to go and get some beers at La Posada. Ah! Oh no, I just, damn it, I biffed it. I knew this was gonna happen. All right, we got big plans here in Mexico. Three big plans. The biggest one would be La Sombra Luminosa. Second biggest would be El Sendero Luminoso. And then to climatize, we're gonna do Time Wave Zero. Time Wave Zero is the easiest of the three, so I'm gonna try to film it. Now we're probably gonna wake up at balls in the morning and approach it in the dark, so it's gonna suck. We're gonna try to dial in the approach right now. Ah, where am I? Okay. Apologize in advance if uh, the footage of Time Wave is gonna suck because we are gonna be kind of hauling ass on this. I do not want to have an epic while we're on the wall just trying to film because I have no idea what I'm doing. A few moments later. So, not long ago, I got COVID and the approach fatigue and vertigo is kicking my ass right now. So this will be an extra interesting day. Just got sodomized by a cactus. Oh, oh my God. Anyways, time wave zero consists of 23 pitches going up the eponymous time wave buttress. Most of the pitches seem pretty trivial, although there's a stout 11A right at the beginning. The 20th pitch and the 21st pitch are both considered quite sandbagged at the end of all that climbing. But hopefully it'll be worth it and doable. Okay, gear check. Personal gear, team gear, homegirl sliding into my DMs with tips on time wave. I wasn't interested in time wave to be honest. It looked full of gummies wanting to bag a 12, but it's mostly easy yeah. pitches and one 12. No, oh, yeah, that's me. Food. Boneless tacos. Stroop waffles, more Stroop waffles, digitally paranoid climbing partner, and last but not least. Fifty-four. It's showtime. What time is it? Showtime. Okay, so hardcore Silent Hill vibes right now. Oh, feeling it already. Things that come out at night. I can't believe it. We're the first people here. Ah, oh, no way. Let's do it. Go for it. You're on belay. It's 4.50. Off we go. There goes my hero. All right, climbing. We've actually never climbed ropes in the dark before. Moonlight's decent, but I have no idea where my feet are. Climbing on ultra instinct. Okay, on second thought, let's turn the light on. Ah, uh, so much better. <laughs> yeah, the rock is getting better, humidity-wise. Oh, cactus, hello. All right, time now is 6.06. .06. Top of the pitch three. We're about to swing leads and there's a party behind us. So time to get motoring. Okay, these cactuses in the holds are gonna be the death of me. Oh, so spiky. And here we have a random palm tree throwing out the side of the mountain. 
No big deal. It's just another day. The cotton candy sky starting to pop up. I don't know if it comes out that good on camera, but it looks freaking magical. Sky. Mountain. Sky. We're about to swing leads on pitch six. Let's go. All right, top of pitch seven. We're on seven. Top of pitch seven. The car behind us is hauling ass, so we gotta get moving. Check out this sunrise, it's golden. Ah! Off we go, the hardest pitch on this climb. Walking pitch. Yeah, I wish. Ah. All right, just had some stomach trouble actually, but it's a good thing we're on this sweet ass ledge. Sweet ledge, sweet ledge. It's my first time wagging outside. Honestly, it was kind of luxurious. Definitely the best view I've had doing it. All right, it's 8.07 and we're getting blitz creaked. We're under attack. Never had anyone simul past me before. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're stuck behind a party and the sun just peeked over the mountain. It's about to get real hot here. 8.24 pitch 10 and we are leapfrogging. Chasing the next party. 9.06 a.m. We're at the bottom of pitch 12. Bottom of pitch 12. 10.10 10 a.m. Top of pitch 15. So good. Definitely feeling the tiredness though, it's kicking in. It is 11.42, we're at the top of pitch 19. Yeah, so the next pitch is supposed to be a hard 10 D. And then we got the 12 A pitch coming up. Uh, we are at the top of, crap, I keep forgetting, uh, pitch 20, right? Top of pitch 20. So this is the 12A pitch, and it's supposed to be a really hard onsite, so chances are I'm not gonna get it, but I'm gonna try hard. Okay, let's get all the excuses out of the way. Let's see, uh, I'm insanely fatigued from COVID, and probably from climbing 20 pitches already. <sighs> shoes are not my shoes. Oversized solutions, had to poop twice. Oh my God, that was the worst. First thing in the world. I think I definitely got the poop record on time wave zero. Out of water, my body's cramping up. What else? Uh, gonna be climbing with a backpack. Never climbed 12A with a backpack. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, gonna give it the old college try. Okay, rock climbing. Come on.
My biceps are cramped. Damn it, I'm kind of bummed. I felt like I did the hard part. I was so close to being out of the woods. Here's the bolt ladder, these three right here. So presumably this is the hard part. The holes are so good, I felt so ready. Dang, what a bummer. Oop. Alrighty. Hang on, I got on me. Oh, God damn it. It's so good. I'm so gutted, dude. I literally was one move away. And I was past the crux. The worst part. <sighs> okay, we're at the start of the last pitch. Um, after we get to the top, I'm gonna go back down and red point that 12A pitch because I'm pretty gutted. Ah, really bummed. All right, last pitch. To the top! Okay. I'll skip. I'll skip this bolt. Whoa! <laughs> epic, dude! Sick! Holy smokes! Sick! Alright, I'm on my way. Lots of loose crap here, so be careful. Dude, I don't know why people think this isn't worth doing. This part is awesome. This is like my favorite part so far. Easy climbing, great views. This is awesome. Oh, mama. Oh. Top of time wave. All right, time check. Time check on time wave. It is 154. All right, that's it. Top of time wave. That's it for time wave. So we go back down. I'm gonna to try to give the 12A pitch one more red point burn and then down to the ground. All right, we're back at the 12A pitch. I'm gonna give it a good old red point burn this time. just made it to the 12th pitch rappel. So we've been rappelling for a while, yeah. Okay, uh, just checking in, keep going. I am so tired, I can feel myself fading. I'm making like bad decisions. Uh. We just wrapped, how many pitches? Like 15, all the way from down there. Wait, what, up there? We're definitely both really tired. We're like skipping rap stations by accident. 
doing like weird angles, missing traverses. It's definitely golden hour though. Oh, that sunset view is so good. Look at that mountain. Ah. Oh my god. Ah, ah, god damn it. Touchdown, 6.55. We have been rappelling for five hours. I have been falling for 30 minutes. Back on solid ground, baby. I am so tired and hungry and thirsty. Okay, let's see, trip summary. Honestly, the climbing was fine. The 12A pitch, everyone's like, ooh, it's hard for 12A. But honestly, the crux itself felt very fair for 12A. I just biffed it. Anyway, yeah, so let's see. My heels are dead. My toes are dead. I'm never gonna wear solutions on Big Wall again, except for <laughs> our next Big Wall because that's coming up and I don't have a choice. Yeah, it was the rappelling, the pathfinding, pulling the rope. What else was painful? I pooped literally three times on the mountain. That was horrible. Nothing left to do but to go and get some beers at La Posada. Ah! Oh no, I just, damn it, I biffed it. I knew this was gonna happen. Ah, ah, freaking cactus, dude. Tore right through my jacket. <laughs> damn it. All right, we're actually using the El Potrero registration thing for its intended purpose. All right, dude, cheers. What should our subscribers do? Wait, what, I always mess this up. What should our viewers do? They should unsubscribe, hit the thumbs down button, uh, leave a terrible comment, uh, and then report this channel for harassment. Uh, wait.